Okay, you are at Autosport in Fox Chapel, Pennsylvania, and uh, today we're going to present to you a 1976 Love, Love Chevy truck. Uh, they had an Isuzu motor in them. Uh, these things were kind of an iconic vehicle. They only made them a few years. Uh, great little pickup truck, and it's really odd because now, of course, Ford went back to the little truck now, a Maverick truck. They went to the, the shorter smaller, lighter weight trucks, just like GM did way back when. Obviously, it's a red truck. The paint is just uh, incredible on the vehicle. Uh, and there's really no imperfections to speak of. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna find something somewhere going around here, but the grill itself is plastic. There's no missing windows in it. There is a little bit of a curvature to the bumper here. You probably won't see it. Um, in this video that we're doing, but uh, Anthony's going to show you some very high resolution photography that you can go and take a look at it and you can see exactly what you have here. It does have a front spoiler on it, obviously quad headlights on it. Uh, the um, fitment is very nice, especially for a, uh, um, a small truck, an uh, inexpensive truck in that era. But the, uh, uh, the hood itself is uh, free of dents or any imperfections. Kyle area the same way, it has the original uh, windshield wiper arms and blades. There's no chips or marks or imperfections in the windshield. It is not a pin windshield or side windows, it's just plain glass. It does have uh, West Coast style mirrors on it, heavy duty mirrors that you can actually see out of this guy. Going down the uh, driver's side of it, side marker light is uh, very, very nice on the car. Uh, there's no uh, uh, indication of uh, uh, any marks or anything on the fender. The fender lips are razor sharp on this guy. You know, there's no reason to believe that there's been any distress whatsoever to them through the years. It does have a newer set of radial uh, hand-cooked tires on it. Um, the full wheel covers, obviously, as you can see. Uh, a lot of nice bright trim on this guy, you know, around the windshield and around the... Uh, the head uh, drip rail around the uh, doors. Um, everything on this truck is, is as it was. Now it does have 36,000 actual miles documented on the title on this guy uh, from when it was new. It still has your uh, original tags inside the door indicating the uh, serial numbers and, and everything. The uh, interior, which again, you're going to see some high resolution photography on this, that uh, there's no deterioration on the seats. Um, there is, however, a couple of very small <coughs> cracks, actually one here that I can see. A tiny one over here, you, you really have to look to see it, but there's a crack from uh, shrinkage of the uh, vinyl on the uh, dashboard pad through the years. Steering wheel doesn't have any marks or brakes or anything on the uh, steering wheel rim. Uh, Armstrong windows, obviously, uh, definitely no power windows in this guy. It does have, uh, however, power disc brakes in the front of this thing. So no power steering other than whoever's driving it. And, uh, it's just a very straight vehicle. The bed lines up very well with the cab of the uh, truck. Gas a little, obviously, but the, the fender lips everywhere, and you'll be able to see them in the photography. Very sharp and very clean. And looking down the side of the truck, there's uh, no dents, no deviations, absolutely nothing. And uh, obviously, they have what's called a Mikado package, and I'm going to guess that that's the interior trim. It, you'll see it in the photography that Anthony shows you. It does have a lot of, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say plaid, black, or white, and red plaid in the uh, upholstery of the seats. It does have a photo cover with it, step bumper in the back. Uh, he's going to show you, and we'll take a look here with you right now. The bed of this truck absolutely has never held anything in it. It's just, uh, it's just absolutely as it was when it was new in 1976. You can see the tailgate doesn't even have any marks or scratches or anything on it. There's no indication that uh, anything has ever been hauled in this thing. If it was, certainly it was, it was much longer than But, uh, as 
concept for right now. So you can see a step bumper does have a hitch on it. Um, that one last joy, uh, going down the uh, passenger side of it, it's a straight and, and linear as the driver's side. There's absolutely no indication of any dents or marks or deviations whatsoever. Yeah, it never looks the same as the other side. I mean, there's no, there's no deterioration or any uh, uh, oxidation on this guy ever. Same thing on this side. You can see this avocado uh, package, which obviously is the red and white. Uh, with the black cream and dash, but uh, door panels, of course, match the seats. A little extra padding in it by the looks of it. You know, very, very rich looking interior, automatic on a console. Uh, just a nice truck. Everything around it, see the doors close as they should. You don't have to slam them. Uh, everything on the truck uh, points it to be a real uh, 36,000 mile uh, unmolested vehicle. It's in excellent condition. Um, you can't imagine you could find a nicer one anywhere. You go to the department and you can see that it, it is an Isuzu engine, a little single barrel carburetor on it, uh, four cylinder, of course, um, dual master cylinder, power brake booster. You can see the entire engine department is just uh, leak free and just as fresh and clean. All the uh, uh, zinc chromate uh, plating on all the uh, pieces, nuts and bolts, everything is is just the way it should be from when it was new. You can see your uh, IDs underneath the hood of this guy. Uh, I mean, it, it just a, it's just a vehicle that you're, you're buying a brand new 1976 Chevy Love truck, which falls right into the you know current marketplace with uh, smaller pickup trucks. This guy is a phenomenal piece of equipment for a pretty reasonable price. The, under, the undercarriage of this, um, Anthony's going to have you some pictures of the uh, undercarriage. And the undercarriage is absolutely as new as what you see on top. Uh, there's, there's nothing more to be said about it other than it, it represents itself as the top part of this car does. It's uh, absolutely... Uh, totally corrosion and rust free in every way. The paint is uh, spectacular on the vehicle. Uh, there's no marks on the glass. You're, you're buying a vehicle that is as it was in 1976. Take a look at it. It's an auto sport in Fox Chapel, Chapel Pennsylvania, and uh, there'll be at least 70 high resolution photos of this guy for you to zero in on and take a look at any aspect. And if you have any questions or any concerns, just call Anthony and um, he can address every one of them for you or give you more specific information or a specific uh, photograph that you need of a given area. Take a look at this guy. It's really worth uh, taking a look at a little truck here.